What is up, subscribers? Anthony, seeing that motivation back. It's another Monday. You guys already know what happens these days. Motivation, got to get it in. All right, uh, today, the talk is going to be about patience. Yeah, we all need patience. And nobody has it. That's the funny part. That That's, that's one of God's huge laws, patience. Because if you're patient, Everything that comes to you is perfect because it's on God's timing, all right? Most people get impatient. When they get impatient, they rush the process. When they rush the process, they always end up messing up the outcome. And that happens because it's not at the perfect time. It's not according to time. And it happens when it's not supposed to happen. So things get messed up. And that's why the talk is patience because... For instance, I know a lot about patience. I had to have it when I broke my leg. I needed it for about six weeks. After that, I broke my knee. I needed another. I needed it for another six weeks. Before that, oh man, you guys wouldn't believe the patience that I needed just to get to where I am today, to get out of the wheelchair, to put in the effort and the hard work and everything that I had to do to get out of the wheelchair. You know, that I, I was patient. I had I had to be patient. And God gave me that patience because I wouldn't have been able to do it alone. And and I give him glory for that reason because I know that I, w I wouldn't be up to this point if it wasn't for him. I mean, he's the one that still has me here, and he's the one that wants me to fulfill my destiny, which I'm not sure what it is. But slowly, everything will line up. And the more that I don't rush things, the more I'll find out what it's supposed to be. All right? Um so I had to have patience in the very get-go from the accident. After I got hit with the car, that took patience to get off of that wheelchair again, to, you know, push myself to go through pain, to go through uh, memories that I had to, that I will never forget. Because it was a pain from like a 0 to 10, it was an 11. It hurt when I hurt my hip, when I broke my hip. It was the most painful thing I've ever been through. And... In the first accident, I had a I had broken my left hip, and I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it, and it healed wrong. So in 2014, that's when the doctor looked into it, and he's like, "Yeah, you need a hip replacement." And he ended up chopping the the bone, the extra bone that it grew, and he ended up putting in the hip replacement. So that took patience to heal from that. You know, I couldn't cross my legs. I couldn't. Uh, put weight on my legs or not. I mean, I wasn't even walking at that time, but I couldn't put weight on it. I, I had to stay off of it for about six months. That one took six months. So I'm telling you, I've been through a lot of situations that required patience. Not only that, but like I always say, there is another guy that came to earth that he was patient. He was patient with people that didn't want to change. He was patient with people that treated him wrong. He was patient with people that didn't believe in his word and they thought he was just a uh, make-believe you know he he took he took a lot of situations out of his hands because he re refused to deal with it so he's like you know what i'm not gonna end up going through this just to start an argument with them or nothing this guy think about it like this he literally walked the desert 40 days and 40 nights with no water, no food, no nobody to talk to. You know, they, cell phones didn't exist back then. He couldn't call somebody and be like, hey, come pick me up, man. I'm thirsty. <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ was walking that. He was walking that desert. And when he was walking that desert, evil was tempting him. You know, just like all of us, evil tempts us to do the stuff that we shouldn't do. And that's what he was doing. You know, he was telling him, hey, um, you know, bow down to me and you'll have, you'll have, you know, you have paradise. You have everything that the world has to offer. You'll have no, no dwelling, no hunger, no thirstiness. You'll have everything. And, and Jesus was so strong that he said, no, I'm not going to fall into that. I believe in my word of, uh, of, of my father. You know, um, when Jesus lived here, he, he, he had nothing but the main goal of pleasing his father, doing what he had to do for God to to live a righteous life 
and to live the life that everybody's supposed to live. He wanted to be the example so that other people could follow his example. And that's what I'm trying to do too, because I want people to see my hard work, my dedication, my effort that I put in, you know, my sacrifices that I take to lose weight, to go to the gym, you know, to put on my shoes every single day. People don't know about that. They just think, oh, yeah, he's losing weight. He's looking good. But at the end of the day, they don't know the sacrifices that I have to go through every single day. This is an every single day thing that I got to go through. And people don't know that. And honestly, um, that's another thing that that requires patience, you know, because I can't I can't speed up the process. I can't be like, all right, um, I'm walking and just hop on to walking. It's, it's physically almost impossible because I try it and I don't have the the muscles or the strength or the ability yet to do it. But soon it's going to happen. When it happens, I'm going to be really, really proud from that moment. And I'm going to feel really good about that moment because I've been working hard, you know. But no matter what, this is patience. And everybody needs it. Nobody can rush the process. So you just be patient. Wait till your time comes. You know, if you don't have kids, wait. And your time will come to meet the right person to have them with. Because if you end up, you know, taking stuff to your own hands, that's when you end up as a single father or a single mother. Or you end up, you know, uh, giving the kid not the best life. And that's because... You rushed the process and you did, you, you took stuff and put it into your own hands and you didn't wait for God to supply you. When God supplies you, that is when everything lands right on time and it's perfect. All right. So this is patience. Remember to subscribe, comment, ring the notification bell, comment down below. All right. Thank you so much. Anthony out. Keep up with money motivation, baby.